Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. Today we are doing an update on my Project Pan 2018, um, I guess, series that I started back in January and here we are in June. So we are six months into the year, which is insane. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick, well as quick as I can, update on where I'm at with all the products. I'm going to insert here, I guess, um, a screenshot of the first video, which I'll link below and somewhere in the cards up here. But um, without further ado, let's get into where I'm at with the Project Pan. Okay, so to start, the way I filmed the video in um, January was I went through it by how kind of like I apply my makeup. So I did start with like base products and I'm just gonna make sure I'm going in order that I did here. So to start, the first item that I wanted to pan was the IT Cosmetics CC Cream Eyewear Shade Medium Tan. And um, here's kind of where we're at now compared to where I started. Now, I don't know if the um, screen share is gonna be as accurate as this is in real life, but I am really running low here. You're not gonna be able to probably see it, but you can see through the two here and on the back. And when I do use this, I'm kind of like squeezing and squirting out the last bits. So I have high hopes that this should be done probably within the next month or so if I continue to use it regularly. The next one that I wanted to finish up is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, very similar to the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I just find this has a little more of like a golden undertone to it, which is better for my skin. Um, this is in shade 27, Honey Beige, and here's where we're at now. So another one that I feel like I've made a pretty good dent in, so I'm really excited about that. I've tried to, as long as I'm not doing like um, a special event or like um, if I'm just kind of home and doing not much of anything, I'm I'm wearing one of these two just so I can wear them up. Plus they're good for your skin. The third one that I, oops, sorry, I'm trying to like sit in a comfortable way. The third one that I am trying to finish up is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in shade W6. Now, I won't lie, I kind of forgot that this was part of my project pan, mainly because W6 is more of like a summery, my summer shade, and obviously starting this in January, February, March, it, the first half of the year, it wasn't really this this time of the year for this shade. I do have W5, but that was not included in Project Pan, so I do expect to make much more progress on this, this second half of the year. And the next thing is concealer, which I'm very proud of myself. This is the um, Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. I love this concealer. I recommend it to friends all the time if they're looking for a drugstore concealer that not only can be used under the eyes, but everywhere. Um, if you can see, this is almost done. I feel like this is the never ending concealer though. I swear to you, when I use this, I pump it up 10 times for both my under eyes and wherever else I use it. And you would think it'd be done by now, but it just keeps going and going. Oh, also, my makeup today is mostly with the exception of my eyeliner and my lip liner is all from these items. So if there's something on my face that you're like, ooh, it looks pretty, it's something here. So I will list, um, like I'll put an asterisk next to the items in the list that I was wearing today so you know. So there were two powders I wanted to use up in this project pan. The first one was this Tarte one, this uh, long, ridiculous name, Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. I have the shade Light Medium Neutral, and I do believe I used this quite a bit in the first, I don't know which side to put this on, maybe this side? I think I did use this in the first, like, January till, I would say, maybe, like, April. And then I kind of stopped using it because my skin got really dry from pregnancy, so I didn't really use powder. Um, so I do think I made some progress in this, but now I'm at this weird point where this is slightly too light for me, so I don't reach for it as much. It's more of like my fall winter powder, but you know, here we are. But I am gonna try to make more of a conscious effort to use it when I'm maybe not as tan or like didn't get as much sun because I am using powder now. My skin has gotten a little more oily because it's hotter out. 
The next powder is the Glow Skin Beauty Powder. I love this one, talked about it in the first video. This one I definitely feel like I've made some progress on. It's a little darker than the Tarte one. This is in shade Honey Light. And it's a mineral powder, so you can use this on its own as a foundation, or I top it with one of the BB creams or foundation in general, which is kind of double duty, but I just like it. Um, really love this powder, and I feel like I have been reaching for it more in the last few weeks, so I'm going to continue to keep reaching for it because I really like it. And the color is a little better. It's a little more tan. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep. This one, another one, I've made a lot of progress on, I feel like. So as you can tell, I really only have this like outer rim and barely any on this side left. I'm to the point where it's like I can almost get rid of this because my brush is barely scraping the edge. I can barely get product out, but I'm using like a smaller contour brush to really do as much you know justice and damage to this as I can. But um, yeah, I really love this bronzer. The next one is a funny story one. I know if you guys watched the first video, oh, I just hurt myself. Um, this Hoola bronzer from Benefit is old as balls, and um, I've repressed it like a million times. Do they even make this with the brush in it anymore? I don't even know, but I do like this little brush for contouring. It is... I've made a lot of progress, but because I've repressed this so much, it falls apart so easily, so I have to be so careful when I use this, but this is another one that I think... I shouldn't have any problem finishing in the next month or so with regular use. And I do really like this one. For me, this could be a bronzer, but it's definitely much better as like a contour shade. It's a little more of a neutral cool tone and less warm than the Too Faced. The next one is one that I actually, another one that I kind of forgot about because this was one that I tended to use in the summer more, but I have pulled it back out. It's the By Terry uh, Sun Designer Palette in Savannah Love. and. Um, I just pulled this back out this week because this was one that I used in the summer all the time. Um, I loved using this on my face. Obviously, this is like all your bronzer kind of colors, and then this is blush. But I also use like these co these colors as eyeshadow. So now that it's more um, warm and like I've gotten a little more color to my skin, I can go back to using this. The, the thing with this product is. It's very, very pigmented, so in the winter and fall, it was a little too much color on my skin, so I wasn't using it as much, but now that we are back in the spring and summertime, um, I'm going to definitely be reaching back for this. Obviously, this has been used quite a lot. Um, it's more the blush side I really need to work on, so I'm going to keep this out on deck to use a lot more now, along with the other stuff I was talking about. I have a highlighter here, and this is... Another one, like, I feel like I kind I was using it a lot when I first filmed the Project Pan, and then I kind of, like, I don't know, not forgot, but I just stopped using it. I don't know why. But this is the Becca Opal Highlighter. I gotta go back to using this more. So, um, this is, I feel like I've made a little bit of progress. I mean, we'll see in the screen share. But, um... This, bra this highlighter is to the point where like, you know when it gets to the middle and things just start crumbling, I have to be really careful because these are very soft powders, so um, they're beautiful highlights, super natural, but again, I just have to be really careful because it's very delicate. Um, another one I'm going to be leaving out for the next six months to use more of. My eyeshadow that I really wanted to work through, which, jeez, I don't know if it was like, the I think it's, I attribute the fact that I forgot about a lot of these to the fact that I was pre I am pregnant. I was pregnant and early pregnant first trimester when I started Project Pan and I was kind of like not really wearing as much makeup, especially those first three months. So anyway, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess palette. Let me clean a little bit of it because this is embarrassing. It's not that bad, I guess. And this one, I'll admit, I, uh, I didn't use it that much, maybe a couple times. So I'm going to whip this one back out now that we are in the second half of the year and um, continue to use it. Plus, I love using this one in the summer. I mean, hello, Golden Goddess. The two lippies I have here, the first one is the Marc Jacobs Pretty Thing Gloss. My foot just fell asleep. Um, I forgot about this. I, well, no, this is not a lie. I didn't forget about this gloss. I just... I tend to wear glosses more in the summer, and again, the first half of the year, it's not summertime, and I was wearing just a lot more 
um, matte liquid lipsticks, just something easy, one, you know, you don't have to like layer with a lipstick and a lip liner and a gloss, kind of a project. I was just putting on liquid lipsticks. So now that we're back in the summer, I'm definitely more back on my like gloss kick with a little lip liner. So I will use this more, but again, like I showed you guys in the first video, maybe you'll be able to see. We have, so, like, there's a lot used, so um, I should be able to use this up in the next six months as long as I am keeping it available. Same thing with the next one, because I wasn't really reaching for lipsticks that often, I was doing liquid lipsticks if I was putting on makeup at all the first three months of the year. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect Lipstick. I do love this. This is one of my holy grail lipsticks. It might be like my number one holy grail lipstick actually. But I would 150% for purchases. I would purchase two of these. I would keep one in my makeup uh, vanity and one in my purse. That's how much I love this shade. And the last two things, ugh, guys, I almost want to just throw these away. I just don't care for them anymore. And actually, it's not even like I don't care for them. I didn't really like I don't know, go back and watch my the first video and you'll see. So these are the two pixie mists that I've been trying to use up. And I definitely have made a little bit of a dent in them since the last time. Here's the issue. So this glow mist, this glow mist is too greasy for me now. So now that my skin, it was dry in the first like few months of pregnancy. Here we are, I'm at six months. This glow mist makes me look so greasy. Like I don't know what happened. I don't remember it being that bad. I know this is more hydrating than their white milky mist, which I love, but I don't know. It's just too much now. And like, I just, I can't really use it for much of anything. Maybe for like eyeshadow, like to foil eyeshadow. I used it today just to intensify the highlight a little bit, but I didn't really need to use it. So I don't know if I'm going to finish this. I'm going to try my best, but at the end of the year, if this I don't know, I just feel like it's taking up space on my counter and I don't like it. What would you guys do? I don't know. And then the last one is the Makeup Fixing Mist. I do really like this one. The problem with this one, and I believe I mentioned this in the first video, is the spritzer on this one spits at me like a camel. So although the product does work, it's a little drying. So if you have dry skin, I don't know if I would recommend this one. Um, it works, it really dry, like, mattifies the skin and keeps your makeup looking fresh all day um the spritzer can kind of like get into your eyes so yeah uh i'll probably finish this one up maybe i have like a couple more uses out of it and since i do like it whatever i'll suck it up i'm more so torn on this one i just don't care for it it's too much for my skin um this is better if you're really dry anyways all right so here we are at June. We will see how things go in, uh, I guess, like December. So crazy. I'll have a baby by then. I'll have a two-month-old. What the heck? All right, guys. Thanks so much. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next one. Bye.